Hello, my name is Aiden from Titan Robotics. And my name is Nicholas. Today we are going to explain the six types of simple machines and how they relate to our robots. The first simple machine is an inclined plane. An inclined plane is used to lift things with less force than it would take to lift them normally. For example, instead of lifting a heavy box onto a truck directly, you could push it up a ramp to get it to the same height with less effort. The same idea was used in one of our off-season competition robots. We put a ramp in so that our ro robot could intake balls and they would go up a ramp and down to our shooter, requiring less force for us to intake them. The wedge is another simple machine. It is used to split, lift, or tighten things. Axes are wedges used to split lumber. On our 2019 robot, we used an adjustable wedge to pick up a large disc with a hole in its center. To do this, we used two long pieces of plastic that expanded to the center of the disc to keep it from falling off the robot, and then came together to let go of the disc and put it onto the rocket ship. When the plastic is expanded, it acts like a wedge, pinning the disc on the robot. The next simple machine that we're going to talk about is a wheel and axle, which has two parts, the wheel and the axle. The wheel rotates around the axle, or the wheel and axle both rotate around something fixed in place. An example of this is a doorknob, which has the two knobs, which are essentially the wheels, and an axle um, to pull in the latch in order to open a door. Our robots have used these simple machines for things like shooters, which either have one or multiple wheels, which spin around an axle that is controlled by a motor. The wheel is spinning fast enough to transfer some of its energy to a ball that is shooting, ejecting the ball at high speeds. A lever is a board or a bar that sits on top of a support, also known as a fulcrum. An easy way to think about this is a seesaw, which has a support in the middle and a board that sits on top of it. When something heavy goes on one side, the other lifts up. Our robot from this past season used a lever with the fulcrum all the way on one side. When we controlled this lever using a force in the middle, the other end was able to raise and lower. Pulleys have a wheel that carries rope, or something like a cable, a cord, or a belt. Pulleys are used to lift things up. For instance, a flagpole, where a pulley is used to pull the flag to the top. On many of our robots, we have used a pulley system, especially for our elevators. This system of pulleys and rope allow us to pull the rope at the bottom and have the elevator move up and down. More pulleys decrease the amount of force that it takes to lift something, but increase the distance that you need to pull the rope in order to get to the same height. Screws are cylindrical with a winding rib that allows things to be held in place. Screws are used for holding many things in place. They are even used to hold up your house. One example of our larger form of a screw is a bottle cap. It twists onto the bottle, and when you try to pull it off, you can't. We use many screws on all of our robots in order to keep them together. Without them, our robots would fall apart. Thank you for tuning in to our explanation of simple machines and how they relate to our robots. If you have any questions or just want to say hi, feel free to email us at frc5587 at gmail.com.